two agents in the field have been eliminated. Fail safe. Initiate destructo protocol. Engage. <laughs> Ensure no witnesses. Ensure no survivors. All right, class, let's go to see the giant giraffe statue. Um, we're very well prepared for this, so we're going to use rescue rules for our movement capability because we are well funded by the PTA and we are ready for the field trip of a lifetime. Destructo uses special movement rules. He moves three spaces with, regardless of terrain every turn. The first space is always random and the next two he can choose. He doesn't have to worry about sur uh, any survival things because he's got a power core like a robot because he's, a, he's a, like a, a biroid, I think. Um, his goal is to destroy everyone else that sees him or that knows about aliens. Kind of like Skibbies. Actually, that's her goal currently, too, because she doesn't know about Destructo yet. If she runs into Destructo, her goal is going to be to escape with her life and radio for help. Um, or else go to a ham radio and radio for help and then escape with her life. Um, Twigmar, he's at this base still. He's waiting to find some trace of the aliens, kind of going to recuperate here and then they'd be set off in search of something else. Um, he knows they're out here somewhere. He just doesn't know where. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks to some lucky random rolls, um, Skibby is able to see Destructo before he's actually gotten to her. I don't think she wants to tangle with this one, so her goal has changed, and that's to get out alive because Destructo comes. Quigmar heard her ham radio call. She definitely announced that uh, at this base here. So he's going to head down. He's not going to waste any time. He's not fully healed yet, but he's going to go because he believes Destructo is one of his people. And he might be. So two. Flush also heard the ham radio call, but um, he prefers to stick to his itinerary. Plus he suspects it's all bullshit. So he is going to just hang out there let the kids recuperate before they set off towards the desert. And we have a triple chase going on. So Destructo's chasing after Skibby. Skibby's trying to get away. And Twigmar is trying to get to Destructo. Um, Twigmar's turn right now. He actually lost even more food. So it's too bad he didn't stay that extra turn to get his belly full. Um, but let's see which way he goes. I don't know why I have the lost thing sitting here. No one's lost right now. Um, three. You can start in any direction. You can go as many spaces as you want. So he'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. End up on this trail here. And he's going to lose two life levels, unfortunately, for Twigmar. He's so close to meeting his people. Twigmar and Skibby are both in this building here. Destructo's right outside. We're going to roll to see what Twigmar, what happens next. So on a one, well, on a four, five, or six, he's going to just sit and wait. Uh, he keeps, he's not able to, since he has to move the full extent of his movement, he's not able to stop at Destructo. So he's hoping Destructo will come to him. Um, that's four, five, or six. On a two or three, he'll find the secret rocket ship that's in there that, um, that none came down in. And then on a one, he's going to push Skibby out of the building into Destructo. So we'll see what he rolls right now. Two, so he found the secret rocket ship. So he's got to try to make it work. Um, and here we go. I think he's going to need to roll. Well, it depends if he's an alien or not. It probably took him the whole day to find it. So we'll see what happens. He's, he's secreted in there. Um, on Skibby's turn, we can see if she also has discovered it. It would be easier for her because... He's there, but she's concerned about Destructo, too, so I don't know how aware she is of Twigmar's activities. Let's check in with our middle school kids. I decided on a rule I probably should have done from the beginning. Since they're a big group, they have to roll on the wilderness encounter table every time. 
uh, though I guess it would maybe be less likely that animals would attack them in, in a group like that. Um, insects, you know, it's, it's just maybe someone would stray off, and there's lots of things that can happen when middle school students are out in the wilderness for weeks on end with just flush to guide them. Skibby's turn. Let's roll to see if she noticed Twigmar disappeared. If she cares. Nope, she didn't. She's going to try and get out of there. Um, there we go. Six, that's good movement for her. She's using search rules. She can go... She can pretty much move at will. Um, she needs to get off this side, but that's actually closer to Destructo. But she can pass him pretty easily. She's worried about food and water, though. Um... I think she's gonna just sprint for it. She is a race car driver after all. One, two, three, four, five. And then she's gonna go down. Where's that? I guess it's right there. And down. And roll for an event. She got one. It's animal insect. And it's six. Lose two water step, youch. Dang, that might be it for her. She just lost three life levels. One, two, three. Uh oh. She's slowing down. Let's see what Destructo goes. Let's keep going. One, he has to move up this way. And go two, three, I guess, like that. Okay, I'm going to be generous and give Twigmar a 50 50 chance of operating this rocket ship here, or a uh, flying saucer. And there he did it. So Twigmar is going to blast off. To careers. Let's see who we draw. And it is Tinkerbell. Back again on a map that she knows well. Tinkerbell. Due to her lack of water, Skibby was forced to go south and meet up with this river here. So. She's really short on options at this point. Destructo is closing in somewhat slowly, but he's closing in, and that's going to be a problem for her. Uh, Tinkerbell is about to start out. She is right here, and she was supposed to help chaperone as part of like a as part of like a an experience thing in college, uh, help chaperone the middle school students, but she missed. The departure time. So she's got to catch up with the group before they make it back or else she's going to not get credit for the class and that could be a big problem for her in her in her educational career. So she is going to be using survival rules. She has to catch up with the group and if she does that she, she hopes that she can uh, be okay. So I guess we'll start her out right now. Six. That's very good. Good start. Start in any direction. After moving one or more hexes, you may make one direction change. Uh, move as far as possible. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. She's on the trail. She goes down one in each. And she has an event. And the event is Animal Insect. Turn that over. And it is four, which means she loses a food. So I think the stress of trying to catch up caused her to consume more calories. Tinkerbell is trying to make her way. She's struggling, um, but she's doing all right. Uh, it's, it's still debatable whether she can make the first base or not. Um, Flush's middle school group they're camping out right here, just trying to recover their strength so that they can get to the desert and touch the giraffe statue there. Now, Skibby, she is right here, kind of desperately desperately trying to hang on to her life. Whether or not she does depends on Destructo's random roll here. We got a three. Three puts it closer to her, and he is destroying Skibby right now. Goodbye, Skibby. You've just been destructoed. Let's see who her replacement is. And her replacement is Weeter, right? Yes, Weeter. And it'll be fun to see what she 
what her role is in this game of outdoor survival in the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. Outdoor survival. English. Pasha Dash Rue Leg. One.